Hi, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about insulin sensitivity, carb consumption, and sunlight. And I've had several people tell me that they always gain 10 pounds in the winter and they lose 10 pounds in the summer. And it might be related to their activity level, but it also might be related to sunlight. And when you look at bigger population groups, um, people who live along the equator can eat more carbs because they have more sun. And then people who live way up north or way down south, near the poles of the earth, they can't eat carbs like people along the equator because of their um, reaction regarding insulin. Okay, now here's a, there's a mechanism behind it. So the bottom line is, if you live like in Michigan, where I live, and you move to the equator, you, your body would do better with more carbs. And then if we move north from here, we got to eat less carbs. And then in the summertime, we're, we're allowed to eat more carbs. And in the wintertime, we're not allowed to eat as, as many carbs because there's less sunlight in the wintertime. So sunlight increases insulin sensitivity. So um, let me get, go into this a little bit deeper. So, so it's the mitochondria. There's 1,000 to 3,500 mitochondria per cell. It's the mitochondria that makes energy. The energy is called ATP. And inside the mitochondria are these um, cristae. These are membranes. And there's a thing called, it's called the electron transport chain that happens along the cristae. And the movement of electricity, or, or I'm sorry, the movement of electrons is called electricity. And so these four items right here, those are called cytochromes. Now the purpose of cytochromes is to pass electrons through this chain and that creates a scenario where hydrogens go this way. So electrons which are, which are negative go this way and hydrogens which are positive go this way. And what that does is creates this um, electrical potential where hydrogens are very po they're positive and they're stuck between two membranes. From there, they go into um, a biochemical machine called the ATP synthase, and that machine makes ATP, it makes the energy. Okay, now the ATP synthase rotates, it goes in a circle. Now there's two ways that a mitochondrion can become less energetic, therefore the cell becomes less energetic. Number one, that rotating ATP synthase slows down. Number two, the space between the cytochromes becomes larger, and the electrons slow down. The electron transport chain slows down because there's more space. So the way that you fix both of those problems is by adding sunlight. Okay, now <clears throat> you're adding more electrons, you're, let, you're adding more photons, and you're adding more ultraviolet light, and that's how you can speed up the energy production of mitochondria. Okay, by adding physics, by adding electrons, ultraviolet light, um, photons. Okay, this is all from Dr. Jack Cruz. And he studies uh, biology and physics, and he put them together. Okay, now here's how you can increase your um, electricity in your body. Sun exposure on your skin, even if it's 20 minutes a day. And... Um, don't get burned, but uh, sun exposure is really good for the body. Infrared light, so that could be a sauna. There's near-infrared sauna light, and there's far-infrared sauna light. I don't know if there's full-spectrum sauna light or um, infrared uh, light on the market. I think you can either buy far-infrared or near-infrared, but not full-spectrum. Either way, infrared light, you can do that with a sauna light, or you can do that um, with lasers, too. Number three is grounding. Now the Eskimo didn't have sunlight like the people on the equator, but they wore um, shoes or boots that were not rubber. It was like an animal skin or animal fur or like a seal skin. So they got electricity from the earth. That's called grounding. So just get shoes that don't have a rubber sole. Okay, now number four, eat fresh organic vegetables, preferably from your garden. They get direct sunlight and it's, ca it's captured the photons in the cucumber. Number five, decrease blue light exposure with blue light blocking glasses. 
you can get them on Amazon for anywhere from nine to twenty bucks. Um, if you want fancy ones, you, you could spend fifty or seventy-five dollars. Okay, so blue light is the opposite light. You you actually want red or purple, which comes from the sun. Or it comes from infrared light, um, but blue light is detrimental, and red or purple is what our bodies need. And then you can use this um, software called Iris for your computer screen. Just go on, just search for Iris. It's like ten dollars. It's software that you download onto your computer. And it um, makes your screen safer for your eyes. So if you're if you're looking at blue light all the time, it's your body, your nervous system, your brain constantly thinks it's summertime. So you don't want that to happen. You want your body to know that it's winter time, and you need to go with the seasonal changes of where you live. Okay. So here's some information on um, electricity and how it relates with nutrition. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up and subscri um, subscribe and share if you like it. Thank you.